Hey there collectors, it's Steven here with another unboxing video. It's been a while since I did a proper one of these in my usual style. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm back with an SH Monster Arts one. Yee! So the poster figures. The, uh, I'm going to butcher this. Orai Noriyoshi? I, I know I butchered that, but I got Kokyo Kyokurai. All right, so give me credit for that. But anyway, the poster figures are now out in North America through Bluefin. And this is the Godzilla one. Yay. So I picked mine up from E Night Media. Stellar job on the shipping on this one, guys. Um, yeah, as you can see, the box did get damaged in transit. But anyway, I finally have it. I got it for a pretty decent price. And if you're looking to pick one up for yourself, there will be a link in the description. They should be getting to retailers all across North America soon because they literally just got to Bluefin this past week. All right. All right. So cool. We've been taking a 360 spin view of the box. And the cool thing about this one is it's designed to go with the Chogokin Tamashi mix or whichever branding is supposed to be flipped around Mecha Godzilla that was released as well. So we have a nice green theme here to sort of replicate the poster that it's based on. So let's take a closer look at the box here. And on the front of the box, we have Godzilla in the pose that he is in on the poster where he's kind of roaring towards us or upward, however you're going to look at that. Really cool. Nice design. On the back of the box, we just have some promotional pictures, you know, all of the good stuff that you've already seen online. Nothing new here, of course. Mine is all nice and dented. And on the top and the bottom of the sides of the box, we just have more Godzilla poster version. Ooh, ah, hey, here's some more promotional work. Yeah, yeah, okay. So overall, I have to say the box is very, very nicely done. And I really, really like the fact that they have a theme going on here because most of the SH Monster Arts boxes are just kind of thrown out there. This one has effort put into it, so that's very, very nice to see. And here is a side-by-side -side comparison with the Mecha Godzilla released alongside this one. So you can actually see that these two are meant to sort of be displayed together if you want to display the boxes. Alrighty, now we're going to get to opening it up. So let's see here. Um, <laughs> So, we have Godzilla here. I'm going to go ahead and move the box so this way it doesn't screw with the lighting a bit. Now, Godzilla actually does come with an accessory, a beam. No, just kidding. That would make sense. We get this nice little card here. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to open that up. We'll save that for the review, which will come later. So, here is Godzilla. Comes with an extra set of hands. Just some hands. Okay, okay. So it doesn't look like there's any tape, but the packaging is crushed, which is nice. So that's why it was kind of difficult to open. So there we go. The hands that we've seen a gorillion times before. The plastic actually feels a little harder than usual. So that's... Not exactly an amazing thing, but all right. So here is the 1995 mold again. And now we're kind of refocused in here. Um, so the joints are actually pretty nice and tight compared to some previous issues we've had with this specific mold being loose. Um, not, okay, that's cool. <laughs> we have, uh, some paint flakes. Um, inconsistencies here. Uh, okay. You know, kind of is what it is there. Now, here's something that I wanted to see. So lights are going to go out for one second. I'm not going to, I'm not going to bother changing anything up here. So are the, Yes. The dorsal plates are, in fact, translucent. Okay, that's cool. So lights are going to go back on. All right, so yeah, we do have translucent plastic used here, which that's cool to see. I didn't actually think that that was used um, from some of the in-hand pictures that I saw, but uh, okay. So um, yeah, review. I'm going to work on it. I'm going to try to make it as fun as I possibly can because I like the frosted tips he's got going on here. He's this guy straight out of the 90s. But um, yeah, I don't know. This guy is a little underwhelming, even comparatively speaking. Yeah, okay. Um, so that's the end of this unboxing, but I got a little small. 
a little small thing. Yeah, a little small thing. Um, <clears throat> so you think that I'm going to do an unboxing for the Mecha Godzilla, right? Mm, wrong. It's a big box, right? It's a big, big box. And um, I already opened that one up and I'm going to combine the unboxing with the review. So that way it's just easier for everyone uh, to see because I'm sure that, you know, it's a big box. There are lots of small parts. And uh, yeah, that was going to be a fun unboxing to have. So here are the two just real quick side by side for you guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's a good thing that um, I didn't do the unboxing in my normal way because um, we're going to have a very fun review of the Mecha Godzilla. OK, all right. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give the video a nice big old thumbs up and subscribe so you know when the review of these two go live. I think I'm going to go for a back to back either on the same day or one will get uploaded one day, one the next. Don't know. Still deciding. But Anyway, again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I will catch you all in the next video.